students i shall continue the problems on calculation for p from the first order differential equation that is 18 mat 11 i shall continue the problems in that topic solvable for p that is singular and general solution we are solving in this i shall take some examples on how to solve differential equations by solving for p where p is nothing but differential coefficient that is p is equal to dy by dx in the general equation that is a differential coefficient where the functional uh, relation represents like this that y is equal to f of x gives it is dy by dx equal to that is f dash of x that is equal to p where that differential coefficient dy by dx is written as the symbol as p here we solve for singular solution and we solve for general solution by solving for x separately by solving for y separately and by solving for p separately how this value of p can be separated from the given differential equation now let us see uh, with the different examples now the first example let me take already we have studied some problems but different varieties of problems i am just writing uh, in that different varieties example number one solve y is equal to 2px minus of p square by solving for p this is the problem solve this differential equation because p is equal to dy by dx then y equal to p into uh, 2x minus of p square what is the order of the differential equation what is the degree of the differential equation in this one let us write for example in a detailed form if you want to write how we are going to write in the solution given y is equal to 2px minus of p square p is equal to dy by it is dx so the same equation can be written as that is uh, p square plus of 2px and minus of y equal to 0 all terms if you want to write to one side you can define the differential equation to this form then dy by dx this can be taken as whole square plus of 2 times it is dy by dx into x minus of y equal to 0. Here this differential equation is containing like function of x comma y comma that is p equal to 0. Otherwise f of x comma y comma it is dy by dx equal to 0. That means a general form of the representation of the differential equation is given by f of x comma y comma the differential coefficient of y with respect to x and f of x comma y comma dy by dx equal to 0. That means dy by dx whole square plus 2 into dy by dx multiplied by x minus y is equal to 0. Now we want to find out the values of p that in general we can say that we are going to solve for p. We are going to solve for p means it is nothing but differential coefficient. How many values you are going to expect? That is in place of p dy by dx p square is there. So this implies what is the order of the differential coefficient here? It is of the first order. And what is the degree here? It is 2. Therefore, it is the differential equation of the order first and the degree 2 and it is called ordinary differential equation which is said to be not a linear differential equation but it is non-linear differential equation. This implies first point that is first order and second degree, second degree and it is called ODE 
and it is called non-linear. Non-linear, it is ODE. Why this is called non-linear ODE? Because linear differential equation is one. It defines like this: linear differential equation is one in which the dependent variable y and its derivative, that is dy by dx, both must occur with first degree and they should not be multiplied together. Then we call it as linear differential equation. Otherwise, it is called non-linear differential equation. This is called non-linear differential equation because the degree of the differential equation is more than first and the dependent variable derivative means it is called dy by dx. Therefore, p square plus 2 px minus y is equal to 0 is said to be ordinary differential equation which is of uh, degree 2 order 1 and it is said to be nonlinear differential equation. Now, our aim is to solve this nonlinear differential equation by solving for by solving for p. By solving for p means you have to find out the values of p. Then, how many values you are going to expect? Because the degree is 2 here, then you must expect the two different values of p. Then each p will be representing as that is dy by dx. Then dy by dx is equal to right side one term and uh, another uh, dy by dx is equal to right side one term. Then you will be getting for the first one right side whatever you are getting that you are going to solve for that. It is nothing but solution with respect to the first differential equation and another one is solution with respect to the second differential equation. Okay. How we are going to solve this? We will see uh, according to the algebraic uh, method of solving the differential equation. What is the algebraic method when it is a second degree equation? So, this will be compared in terms of quadratic equation because this equation is nothing but second degree in P in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. What is that a? a equal to 1 and b is equal to 2x and then uh, c is equal to minus y. It is exactly ordinary differential equation and it is resembling quadratic equation for the algebraic calculation. Algebraic calculation means values of p. Algebraic method is that is x is equal to minus p plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Otherwise, p is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a because in terms of p is there. Therefore, in terms of instead of x you have to write it as the value of p. Okay. Now, how we are going to represent this one can be taken as that is p square plus so this is 2 p x that means 2 x into p and minus y equal to 0. This is you call it as equation 1. Equation 1 is quadratic in P. This is second degree equation which is quadratic in P. Then we find the values of P values of P using algebraic method. What is that algebraic method? X is equal to Actually, in the quadratic equation, how you are going to calculate? Suppose, suppose a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0, then x equal to minus b plus minus root of it is b square minus 4ac, it is divided by 2a. This is what the algebraic procedure. In this algebraic procedure, we calculate the value of x for two different values, minus b plus something 
and minus b minus something these two values we calculate separately so in this that is p square plus sub 2x into p minus y equal to 0 in plus what is the value of a b c here a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2x and c is equal to minus y when you compare with algebraic equation this is nothing but f of x f of x is equal to a x square plus b x plus c then x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a a equal to 1 b is equal to 2x and c is equal to y then p is equal to here in place of x you have to write it as p p is equal to minus b so minus of it is 2x minus of 2x then plus plus or minus square root of that is b square that is 2x whole square minus 4 into a into 1 into minus of y that is divided by it is 2 into 1 p is equal to this one p is equal to minus 2x plus minus root of 2x whole square minus 4 into this one minus y divided by 2 that is equal to minus 2x plus or minus that is square root of 4x square 4x square and minus 4ac that is b square 4ac okay minus y is there okay this is divided one it is 2 that means you are going to solve this differential equation uh, as p square this is these are the two values we are getting but in this both are there that is uh, here uh, x and y inside the uh, square root sign then x and y we cannot eliminate when once we cannot eliminate x and y and in terms of that x and y only we have to write the solution otherwise so what we have to do is we take the same differential equation which is given as y is equal to something then we will differentiate that with respect to that is p only uh, sorry uh, differentiate y with respect to x and then we will introduce the value of uh, dy by dx is equal to p so in this way if we are getting so we cannot evaluate this value then we consider so from this we can we cannot obtain the solution because p is equal to this one 2x and then square root of something but another alternate method i am explaining here yeah? consider y is equal to 2px minus of it is p square so what is this 2px or minus of p square means you differentiate you differentiate again this becomes a nonlinear function so to avoid that we we take the same given equation and then we differentiate afterwards we substitute the value of p therefore differentiate with respect to x then you will be getting it is dy by dx is equal to this is a product rule 2 into p this much and plus of 2x into dp by dx 2x into dp by dx minus of it is 2p then it is dp by it is dx then this dy by dx you can write it as dy by dx is equal to p and this is equal to 2p plus of 2x into dp by it is dx dp by dx minus of it is 2p into dp by it is dx now this p and 2p we can uh, uh, simplify this that is p so 2p minus p plus 2x 
dp by dx minus of 2p into dp by dx equal to 0. Then simplification takes 2p minus p means p plus 2x it is dp by dx minus of 2p dp by dx that is equal to 0. Then we consider uh, afterwards we consider so dp by dx as a common factor that is p plus of 2x minus 2p 2x minus 2p and then it is dp divided by dx equal to 0 because the derivative is common from both the terms then we can consider let us separate this uh, into variables that is p is that okay dividing by p dividing by p we get we get 1 plus of 2x divided by p minus of 2p divided by p multiplied by it is dp by dx that is equal to 0. For some possible simplification we take like this in order to convert this equation into a linear differential equation because it is given as non-linear differential equation. We have reduced it to the linear differential equation. Then you expect this that is p into this much p into anyway we will cancel this p first that should be 1 plus of that is 2x divided by p minus of it is 2 2x divided by p minus of 2 multiplied by it is dp by dx is equal to 0 then p is multiplied this one then we will consider as uh, that is linear form when dependent variable in this case dependent variable is p and independent variable is x therefore if you take to the other side that is equal to uh, that is equal to 1 then dp by dx that should be 1 is equal to 2x divided by p with minus sign minus of 2 it is dp by dx then we can consider this will be 1 divided by it is dp by dx 1 divided by dp by dx is equal to 2x with minus sign divided by p and plus so it is 2 is that this becomes dx divided by dp plus so it is 2 by p 2 by p multiplied by x and is equal to plus 2 that means dx by dp plus 2 by p into x is equal to 2 so this form we brought that the differential equation which was said to be non-linear now we brought it to the linear differential equation so linear differential equation is dx divided by dp plus 2 by p into x is equal to 2 so this can be compared like that is dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x then dx divided by dy plus a p of y into x is equal to q of y there are two different forms exactly this is similar to this one second form so this is first and this is second form how, how this is to be compared second form because x is in the numerator it acts as dependent variable and p is in the denominator it acts as independent variable and that is dx by dp this is linear in y this is linear in x this is linear in x but we brought this to the general and standard form of linear differential equation that is dx by dy plus p of y into x that is equal to q of y then what 
is the next step when once you write the given differential equation into linear form that is nothing but uh, finding the integrating factor and then linear differential equation solution can be follow, uh, written. What is the uh, integrating factor for this procedure? Integrating factor you can write it as which is linear OD linear OD in linear in x linear in x means x with first degree then uh, you have to write to solve this to solve to solve we find the integrating factor to solve the this differential equation we find the integrating factor as what is the integrating factor for the solving the linear differential equation of this nature that is i f equal to e to the power integration it is p of linear in x means it is uh, that is p of your e to the power integral p of x into dx the p of x into p of x means this is the value but this is p of y exactly that is 2 by p itself okay e to the power it is 2 by p into it is dp because with respect to linear in x means linear in x that is integration with respect to y so in place of y in this example x is equal to x and y is equal to p therefore integrating factor is equal to e to the power integration that is y of p then it is dy so this is the term we are going to represent as integrating factor then so e to the power it is 2 log p e to the power it is 2 log p then what, what is the integrating factor we are going to write this is equal to e to the power log of p square then it is only p square this is linear this differential equation you can write it as equation number 2 already 1 for the given problem we have taken Therefore, required solution of equation 2 is given by I F that is dependent variable that is x into I F is equal to integration on the right side that is uh, here dx by dp that should be q of y that means q of y into q of y into uh, that is i f i f with respect to y that is plus constant so what is the step we are going to write that is equal to x into p square is equal to x into p square is equal to that should be uh, p square is there p square is there and here 2 is there integration this value is 2 into p square it is dp in place of y and plus of constant then you have to integrate this this is 2 divided by 3 into pq and plus of constant that is x into p square this is the general solution we call it that is for uh, in terms of linear when it is linear with respect to x that means linear in x then this is the solution afterwards we find the value from this as uh, that is x value what is the x value we have to calculate so x is equal to 2 by 3 is p q by p square and plus of that is c divided by it is p square 
then this is equal to 2 by 3 p square gets cancelled that is p plus of it is c divided by it is p square that is x is equal to so x is equal to 2 by 3 p and c divided by p square and similarly you put this value in the given problem that is what is your given problem v is equal to given equation given equation as y is equal to 2px 2px minus of it is p square so x value you substitute here 2 into p into 2 by 3 it is p plus c divided by it is p square and minus of it is p square that is y then then y is equal to it is 2 means 4 it is p square divided by 3 plus of p cancels then we will be getting it is 2 times so 2 times here and uh, uh, p cancels that is c divided by p c divided by p minus of it is p square then you take the LCM 4 minus 3 that is 1 divided by 3 p square plus 2 times of c divided by p so this is the value of y this is the value of y this is the given problem and this is the value of x so what we do here then uh, we want to verify this solution when uh, x and y values uh, are given or x and y values are separately calculated that means in the given equation if you substitute x value here and then y value here that equation must be satisfied <coughs> then we call it as that takes the entire solution as it is the solution of the equation that means when once we leave the solution that is uh, uh, the solution is going to satisfy the given equation then we, con uh, we can say that that constitutes a singular solution that means general solution in terms of p and constant singular solution after finding the x and y values for example if this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3 so your conclusion is conclusion equations 3 and uh, equations 2 and 3 equations 2 and 3 constitute constitute the solution solution as general solution as general for the equation 1 for the equation 1 hence we declare that itself will be the solution similar uh, type let me take another example to solve the differential equation example solve x square y double dash plus x into y dash and minus of 6 y square equal to 0 by solving for p by solving for p so what we have to do now same type of notation we have to carry out putting p is equal to dy by dx p is equal to dy by dx means you have to write in place of y dash as p in place of y double dash as that is p square and then use the algebraic method to solve the differential equation collect the values two values of p if that solution is admitting if that solution is going to allow to solve the two differential uh, two different differential equations of the first order that you are, you are going to obtain then you can write 
those two values will be uh, uh, satisfying the given equation as general solution as you did in this previous problem. So let me verify uh, how that procedure is going to be applied. In the solution, you take this problem given x square y double dash plus x into y into y dash minus 6 into y square that is equal to 0. Define define p is equal to it is dy by dx. Then this differential equation x square it is d square y divided by it is dx square plus of x into y that is or dp by dx that will be that is uh, x into y it is y dash minus of 6 y square equal to 0 this is y dash whole square y dash whole square that is dy by dx whole square then so with this notation x square it is p square plus x into y that is p minus 6 into y square that is equal to 0. Then uh, this is once again we treat this equation as quadratic in p. So we anyway we consider the first order but degree is different we can consider that, uh, that one as non-linear differential equation. Then so we can say that at this stage which is quadratic in P then we find the values of P values of P using algebraic method using algebraic method as follows. Then that is P is equal to P is equal to but what are the values of ABCPO? This implies A is equal to X square and B is equal to XY and C is equal to minus of 6 Y square minus B minus x y plus or minus it is a root of b square it is x square y square 4 a c b square minus 4 a c minus 4 ok minus 4 a c a means it is x square and c means minus 6 y square then this divided by 2 a 2 into a is it is x square. Then you separate the value of p minus x y plus minus it is root of x square y square plus of minus into minus that is 24 x square y square and whole divided by it is 2 x square. Then whole divided by 2 x square that is equal to x into y that is minus 1x cancels minus of y divided by it is 2x plus minus 1 by 2x square and this becomes 25 square root of 25 x square y square this becomes minus y divided by it is 2x minus y divided by 2x plus or minus 25 x square y square applying the square root sign that gives us 5 times x into y divided by it is 2 x square. So minus y divided by 2 x plus or minus 5 into x y divided by 2 x square. This becomes p is equal to minus of y divided by it is 2 x plus minus 1x cancels 5 by 2 that should be y divided by x. Then further two different equations you are getting you have to solve those two differential equations 
the bracket. That means P is equal to first equation minus y divided by it is 2x plus of phi by 2 it is y by x and uh, minus y divided by 2x minus that is phi by 2 it is y divided by x. In both y divided by x is there that y divided by x you have to simplify. So, from the first equation y divided by x then it is y by x you can take common minus 1 by 2 plus so it is phi by 2 and uh, y by x you can take minus 1 by 2 minus so it is phi by 2. So, y by x this is p multiplied by that, that is 2 is the LCM that is plus 4 divided by 2 this is 2 and another solution 2 is the LCM this is minus 6 and y by x into minus 3. Therefore, we have two different differential equations p is equal to 2y by x and p is equal to minus it is 3y by x. These are the two different uh, differential equations where p is equal to it is dy by dx where p is equal to dy by dx. So, now we replace in place of uh, p that is dy by dx and here also dy by dx and then this is y by x afterwards we can solve for x and solve for y. So, two different differential equations we have to solve and it is obvious that two solutions must exist because the given differential equation is said to be uh, second degree equation but first order then it must possess two values of p thereby two different values you are getting. Then p is equal to 2y by x and p is equal to minus 3y by x is that. So, we will replace that is dy by dx is equal to 2y by x and dy by dx is equal to minus 3y by it is x is that. So, this is one equation and this is another equation. So, two different differential equations you have to solve both. Let dy by dx is equal to 2y divided by x is there. We will solve this differential equation separately by separating the variable. Here dy is there. Therefore, dy divided by y is equal to 2 into dx divided by x is that. That means taking the cross multiplication you can write like this dy by y is equal to 2 into dx by x. Therefore, log y is equal to 2 times of it is log x plus constant. Therefore, If you take uh, log to one side, that is log y minus 2 times of log x is equal to c1. Then log of it is y divided by uh, that is log of x is there that implies log y and plus of log of x to the power minus 2. Therefore, x square you can take that is equal to c1. Therefore, uh, y divided by x square is equal to e to the power c1. Then, y divided by x square is equal to e to the power c1. This you can write it as a. Therefore, the first function, this one is nothing but, first function is nothing but uh, y by x square minus a equal to 0. So, this is one factor because it is to be taken as one factor and another one is taken to be another factor. Then, so we need to calculate uh, another uh, solution. This is one solution we can represent this one as that is f1, 
one solution and another solution as F2 also. Also, we consider we consider dy by dx is equal to minus dy divided by x is that. This also to be taken by separation of variables and group y terms in one side and x terms to other side. Then you will be getting it is dy by y is equal to minus 3 dx divided by x is that. Then this takes the solution This takes the solution integrating, we can write integrating, we get that is log y is equal to minus of 3 log x plus of it is c2, that is log y plus of uh, that is 3 times log x and equal to it is c2 that is log of y into x to the power 3 x to the power 3 is equal to c2 then what is the next step y into x cube equal to e to the power c2 this you call it as b so y into x cube minus b is equal to 0 so this you call it as solution as f2 since it is second degree equation, then you must get a product of two factors where the solutions also to be written as product of two factors. Then this is F1 and F2. Therefore, F1 into F2 equal to 0 is the required solution. Then, then that is y y x square minus a into that is y x cube minus b equal to 0. This is called the general solution. Like this depending on the nature of the problem we consider the solution. So, in what type of uh, the functional relation uh, is going to exist and then according to that we are going to write. So, similarly another problem, one more problem I should solve, then how this problem is going to be applied and uh, how this problem is going to be analyzed using the same type of procedure, but slightly it is a different uh, type of uh, calculation. So, how this calculation is going to fall in this, let us verify in this problem. That is uh, another uh, example I am going to write. In the same sample form, P. Example. Solve the differential equation solve the differential equation y plus px y plus px is equal to x to the power of 4 into it is p square by solving by solving for p in the solution is given that y plus px is equal to x to the power of 4 into it is p square. Then you can write that y is equal to minus px plus of x to the power of 4 into it is p square. Then directly also it is quadratic in p, you can write the values, but solution uh, will not be that easy in that order method when we write. Uh, two roots of quadratic equation. So, thereby 
we slightly uh, take a different procedure we take the differentiation and then we can simplify later we can create what are the values of p so let me proceed in that way then differentiating with respect to x then dy by dx is equal to here it is a product of two functions minus p and minus of uh, that is x into dp by it is dx this is also product the uh, four times four times x cube that is p square plus two times x to the power of four p into dp by it is dx this is one method otherwise you can also write uh, in one of the previous problems i had written <coughs> that is uh, quadratic in p so that you can get the two values of p and then uh, each value of p can be taken for solution so in that case you need to write uh, the values of p uh, separately in terms of dy by dx and then you have to solve for the solution uh, solve for y and x separately Here also we need to do like that. dy by dx is equal to p. That is equal to minus p and minus x into dp by dx and plus 4 into x cube p square and plus of 2 times uh, x to the power of p into dp by it is dx. So in that case uh, you have to write the differentiation separately. That is in place of p as dy by dx. Okay. So what is the simplification? If you take all terms to one side, then between these two you can take the simplification. So minus p. That is p plus p. All terms to one side I am taking. Plus of x into dp by dx minus of 4 into x cube. That is p square. And uh, this can be taken as uh, p square and minus of these two times x to the power of 4 into p that is dp by dx equal to 0. And here it gives us 2p. And I will up with this that is minus of 4 x cube that is p here that, uh, sorry p square and this is plus of x into it is dp by dx and the last term minus 2 times it is x to the power of 4 into p that is dp by dx equal to 0 then uh, you can write this one as uh, 2p minus uh, this much that is 4 into 2p plus of uh, anyway uh, that you can take it as uh, from minus 4 x square uh, 2p plus x into and plug this one with this one x into it is dp by dx in order to make the common factor for this this is 1 term that means this is the term, this is the term I have selected and from these two minus sign I can take outside and which is common that you can write. So which is common means here 2 I can take outside, x cube I can take, x cube I can take outside and uh, 1p I can take outside. You verify what is the term left inside minus sign I have taken 2 I have taken outside x cube I have taken outside then x into it is dp by dx and plus of that is living as plus of it is 2 and then p square 1 p I have kept outside x cube I have taken outside that is 2p equal to 0 for this arrangement we plug the first term and third term second term and fourth term afterwards afterwards 
this bracketed quantity is common <coughs> 2 p plus x into it is dp by dx <coughs> and multiplied by 1 minus 2 x cube into p equal to 0. These are the two factors we are getting. These two factors are to be taken for further solution. That means there will be two different solutions we are getting for the second degree equation because it is given as second degree equation. Then the equation we are going to solve and the first equation that means this implies this is the product of two factors like f1 and f2. Okay. Then this is uh, uh, like uh, first I can say and this is like the second factor. Now first implies so first implies 2p plus x into it is dp by dx equal to 0. Then second implies 1 minus 2x cube that is p is equal to 0 <coughs> by equating each factor to 0. Then this is p then dp by dx. Then you can solve for p. What is the value of p in this? You can collect the value of p by solving for this. Okay, dp is there and here p is there. So 2p is equal to minus x into dp by it is dx by separating the variables. Separating the variables. What variables you are going to separate? p separately and x separately. That is dp and x you bring it to the left side 2 times are uh, divided by minus of x I will take here otherwise minus I can leave there also then into dx is equal to dp divided by it is p this is one differential equation where I am going to solve for p solve for p that means log p is equal to this is with the uh, minus sign here that is minus log p and then equal to 2 log ex and plus of constant c1 therefore if you write all terms to one side this side that is log of minus sign p plus uh, log of x square and that is equal to c1 then minus log of p into x square that is equal to c1 that is p into x square 4 to the power minus 1 is equal to e to the power c1 this much we can write okay then uh, that is uh, p into uh, this is equal to for example a right p into x square 4 to the power minus 1 that is equal to a then uh, 1 divided by p into x square is equal to a then what is the value of p so p is equal to p is equal to you take this to the left side or right side and x square that is uh, 1 divided by a into x square so this is the value of value of p from one equation right that is 1 by a also you can take otherwise uh, that is only a by x square similarly you solve for another equation here 1 minus of 2 x cube uh, 1 minus of 2 x cube into p is equal to 0 then uh, second implies by second we solve that is 1 minus of 2 x cube p into d1 by dx equal to 0. That means in place of p I am substituting dy by dx. Then you can try for separation of variables by writing second term to the other side. That is 2 times x cube it is dy by it is dx. Then what is the solution? You have to separate the variable. This is dy by dx and uh, that is 2x cube is there and x is there. Okay. So dx divided by x cube is equal to 2 into dy. 
therefore this must be minus 2 okay sorry minus 1 by 2 and x to the power minus 3 plus 1 so that is 2 times x square is equal to 2y and plus of constant okay this is minus of 1 by 2 x square is equal to 2y and this one right so minus 1 by 2 x square minus 2y minus c2 is equal to 0 or or 1 divided by 2 x square plus 2y plus c2 equal to 0 then you substitute uh, in the given equation whatever the given problem is there so that you can collect the value of y therefore this is in terms of x and y and if you substitute the solution 1 in the given problem so you will be getting the value of y so that they satisfy the differential equation as a general solution now substituting substituting the value of substituting the value of p value of p in the given equation in the given equation so thereby from the given equation means what it is y is equal to uh, minus px y is equal to minus px that is the value of p means 1 by a into x square minus px then plus of x to the power of 4 it is p square that is minus px means this is minus 1 divided by a into x square into x plus of x to the power of 4 into 1 divided by a square x to the power of 4 so this x to the power of 4 will cancel this x will be cancelled and y is equal to minus 1 by a x and plus 1 by it is a square this is y is there therefore this is equation number 3 and in terms of uh, x this is equation number 1 otherwise this is uh, f1 and this is f2 okay this is equation number 3 and this is equation number 2 and equation number 1 is the given problem therefore solutions solutions are 2 and 3 solutions 2 and 3 satisfy equation 1 for general solution for general solution so in this way we can solve uh, for p and then we can go for general solution by expecting the value of p separately to be calculated and then we have to see that okay then i shall write one or two examples for your practice in this already we have solved but uh, still maybe separate type of problems or uh, two problems i am going to write and then you verify these problems for your extra solution so those problems are like this Example. Here the common question solve the following by solving for P. Solve the following by solving for P. That is x1 into p square plus p into 3x square 2y square minus 6xy is equal to 0 another example that is p square minus 7p plus 12 equal to 0 next is xy into p square plus 1 is equal to x square plus y square that is into p next is dy by dx dy by dx minus dx by dy is equal to x divided by y 
minus of y divided by x. Another example, p into p plus y is equal to x into x into x plus y. You try all these problems looking to the solutions how we have discussed in the previous uh, two three examples. Hope uh, this will uh, 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 clarify by solving for p how the nonlinear differential equation can be solved for general solution by solving for p in that given problem.